Y'all, it has officially turned cold here. Last week, it was like 80, 85 degrees, and the high today is barely gonna be 55. So to us, it is really, really cold. And I told Bunky this morning, I'm like, mm, I want some warm, cozy soup for dinner. And the recipe for this soup is actually a really easy 20 minute on the stove top kind of soup. But I'm really busy today, and I was like, it would be even easier if I could just throw this in the crock pot. So we're gonna try in the crock pot. And I've made like variations of different types of taco soups on my channel before, but this one intrigued me because it's different. To me, it reminds me of like a taco chili almost, but like soup version. So it's gonna be really good and just like hearty and creamy. Now, of course, you can make this on the stove top and it would be just like a really quick and easy weeknight meal, but I wanted to try it in the crock pot just so I don't have to like even think about it tonight. But I will leave the actual recipe down below. But first things first, we need to just brown this ground beef. But now you guys know our love for seed and I'm so thankful to them for sponsoring today's video. So after we make this recipe, we will talk more about it. Y'all are totally gonna laugh when you like read this recipe because I would say that I'm loosely basing this <laughs> off of the one that I saw and kind of making it up as I go. But to my lightly greased crock pot, I'm gonna add in our cooked ground beef and then one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Now, I love beans. Like, I love beans no matter how you give them to me, but especially like, in my chili. And kitty beans is one of my favorite things. So I'm gonna add one can, and I drained and rinsed these. And then I'm also gonna drain and rinse one can of black beans. The recipe does not call for the black beans, but I feel like the more beans, the more better. <laughs> so I'm gonna add both of these in there. And then I have kind of like this tiny little baby can of corn. You can use as much or as little corn as you want to, but I did go ahead and drain this. We're gonna add that in. Now, so I can't shove all this garlic in here. I have like probably equivalent of two cloves of garlic, maybe two and a half, three. There was two pieces in there that were really small. Make sure I get it all in there. And then next I have this chipotle sauce. I'm gonna do like two or three tablespoons of this. A little bit more. <laughs> and one more for good measure. That's right. As I've made a mess, I was gonna stick this spoon in there, but I just used a spoon for garlic, and I was like, well, I don't want to contaminate it. Contaminate. Con How do you say that? <laughs> now, if you are a normal person who loves red onion, then you would dice up however much you want into bite-sized pieces and add that in. I'm gonna do these chunks because you know I'm trying. So add in your red onion, and then I'm gonna leave the uh, jalapenos to mm -hmm. you since you got the Mac Daddy jar. I know. I am uber excited to break into this bad boy. I feel like you haven't had pickled jalapenos a lot lately. No, our, um, well I'm really looking forward to this because we have not been making tacos at home you know, as often as we... We need to. I know. We're always trying new recipes, but I'm like, sometimes I just want some tacos, just some you know? good old tacos. <laughs> Agreed. Um, but anyway. So you add in however much you want, but then also we're gonna add in a couple tablespoons of the juice. All right. Crikey. Yeah, that's good. One more. Let's do one more little fork. Let me get you a spoon. We're gonna do a little jar tilt, spoon press, that transfer. Works. Give us like three of those. Uno. Dos. E. Tres. Perfect. Okay, now last few ingredients. You can't have taco soup without taco seasoning. And you know what I love? I love that a soup is like, you just throw everything in the kitchen sink in there, you know? Well, as I was well, standing here looking into this crock pot right now, uh -huh. I mean, what we've got going on in here are just, so many wonderful things. It's like all of your favorite flavors, I feel like. It definitely is. But what I'm so excited about are the beans, cause like I just love a good kidney black bean, I'm telling y'all. You do. I'm gonna put, um, should put half or like the whole thing? Let's go full flavor. You think? Okay, oh, yeah. I'm dumping this whole packet of taco seasoning. Now no soup or crock pot recipe is complete without some cream cheese. So I'm gonna do half a block of cream cheese. That's right. If you have like a heavy cream, you can add that in. We have half and half, so I'm just gonna add like maybe, I don't know, half a cup to a cup of half and half. And then now to actually form this into a soup, 
You're gonna add in beef broth. You can also do chicken broth if you want to, but I think the beef broth is really gonna give it like that heartiness. And y'all know us, we love the better than bouillon, so that's what we did. So I have four cups. I'm not gonna spill this. Just go quick, Woo! go quick. Of beef broth. Keep going, don't, don't be afraid. Mm, we're like to the top here. I'm gonna give this a good stir and then we're gonna pop a lid on it and let it cook like all day. Um, and then later we'll add some like shredded cheddar cheese to this. It's gonna be just like creamy, rich, amazing. You I'm know, excited for this one. You know what else? We got the se another secret ingredient yesterday. Oh, we have toppings. Oh, it's, it's gonna be like the most epic. I'm called, I'm dubbing this taco chili soup. <laughs> that's not what the person called it, but that's what I'm calling it. Now let's talk about Seed and their DS01 Daily Symbiotic, which is a plant-based prebiotic and a 24 strain probiotic. By now y'all know it's something Buck and I both take every single day and we just love how it makes us feel. We've learned a lot about gut health and how it's connected to everything and just super important. And taking our DS01 daily is part of our routine and not to be TMI, <laughs> but it's really helped our digestive health and regularity also kind of get into a routine, but we just love knowing how much research, science, and efficacy that seed puts into every detail and every ingredient. There are no preservatives, no binders, it's soy-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, and so much more things free, okay? It's amazing. You get a refillable glass jar that it comes with, and then each month you get a new 30-day supply, and we just got our new supply in the mail. But along with your gut and digestive health, the CDSO1 also promotes heart health, and it maintains blood cholesterol levels that are already in normal range. It also supports healthy skin and just so many other benefits. I have so loved getting to hear from so many of y'all that you also use and love the CDS01. And if you have not tried it yet, now is your time. So be sure you head down to the description box, click that link, and then you can use my code Jessica25. And that's gonna get you 25% off your first month of the CDS01 Daily Symbiotic plus free shipping. So be sure you head on there and click that link. I feel like this is like my magic wand. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, it is a magic soup ladle because what comes out of it is so tasty. That was good. We are two very excited monkeys. I have to tell y'all, I took just like a tiny little slurp, I will say, like one one spoonful of this soup uh -huh. because I wanted to just make sure that it wasn't too spicy because, you know, the jalapenos and all of that, the chipotle sauce, I was like, what if we cook this all day and like it's Intensifies. inedible because it's so, yeah, because it's mm -hmm. so spicy. But it's not also, I cannot wait to actually eat a whole entire bowl of it. Now I do want to tell you, I feel like this is kind of just like our own recipe. Like I loosely based this off of their recipe, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but um, the recipe I went off of was like a creamy taco soup, you know, chili uh, thing. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, it's okay. Well, I was just going to say that, you know, I only used half of the cream cheese. If you want this to be like a little bit more rich, and heavier then use the whole thing because then it will be really creamy but like it's more of a soup consistency right now so for our taco chili soup we have some cilantro some cheese now you could do i want to say this too come back up here come come back to me okay so you could actually i don't know why i'm still using this <laughs> You could actually like shred a block of cheese and then add like half of it to your soup and get it in there and get it like nice and cheesy. Mm -hmm. I offered to do that and Bunky was like, no, let's just put our cheese on top. So, you know, we're trying to be good around here. Well, I feel like we can't be. Um, in lieu of the additional cream cheese, like that wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah. But I feel like in our case, I would rather just throw a ridiculous amount of that cheese on, on top, top after I've, you know, yeah. scooped it into the bowl and all that. I feel like it'll just get nice and melty. Yes. So like either way y'all want to do it, but instead of using shredded cheddar cheese, which would also be delicious, I was like, oh, we have like taco blend cheese here. So that's what we're going to use since it's a taco soup. Sour cream and then some Fritos. This and that's going to be like the thing. That was the secret ingredient that yeah. we made allusion to earlier. And y'all, you have to look at this soup because it just seriously looks so good. Here, let me help you. Thank you. Bring it on over. Woo wee. Oh. Like look at all the stuff in there. Mm. You know what I'm thinking though? What you thinking? I'm about to have a really bad heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> You know what else too? What? I feel like today 
was the absolute perfect day to make this. That's what I said, the because temperature. Because the temperature is dropping like snowflakes out there. <laughs> You've been waiting all day for that. <laughs> I did think of that like 30 minutes ago. You I, are so funny. I had to use it. My goodness. Y'all, wow. Don't, don't do the extra. Cream cheese, no. I, I assure you. With the sour cream and cheesy peel on top, it's perfect. Like it still gives you that creaminess and like cheesiness that you want. Mm -hmm. But the actual like broth of this with that taco seasoning. Yes. And then all of those flavors. Yes. It is scrumptious. As I've been thinking about this, looking forward to it for the past, you know. Several hours. Was, yeah. I've been wondering, like, this is a confused recipe, you know? Because mm -hmm. is it taco soup? Is it chili? Mm -hmm. But it really brings the best of both worlds it together. It does. With all the beans that you got, the corn. Yeah. And then the cilantro. I feel like my favorite part are the beans. And then I love the Fritos on top because then you kind of have like a little bit of that crunch. But the beans make it definitely feel more like chili. Mm -hmm. But it's like insanely delicious. I will say, Monkey, right now, you might be crossing the line with some people. Why? Because some people don't think that there are beans and chili. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and there is definitely not corn and chili. You don't think? I that, always put it in there. That's what they say. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. I always put it in there. I mean, I'm a fan of corn and chili, but... Okay, I can deal without the corn and chili, honestly. But no beans and chili. Yeah. I just don't see the purpose. That's my favorite part. Agreed. This truly does not have, like, too much spice. It doesn't even have, like, a kick, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. After you, like, swallow it, there's the tiniest little tingle of spice, but it's, like nothing basically yeah, so even if you're not a fan of spice you will love this it's a very chill heat yeah it's crazy okay i'm gonna say it this is like one of my favorite soup recipes for sure my favorite out of any other taco soup i've ever made y'all we are all freezing in this monkey house and i'm gonna say funny enough but it's not funny i feel bad for her yesterday we got daisy's haircut because she has been needing a bath and a haircut and now of course you know it feels like winter outside so like she's shivering shaking so are bunky and i we were like we gotta get this oven turned on so we can like heat up our house because i refuse to turn the heater on not yeah not yet because it's gonna be like 75 by the end of next week and i'm like I don't turn on the heat on yet. <laughs> she said we can make it through 48 hours. That is supposed to be like really, really cold. So anyway, we are going to make this soup. And let me tell you something. If you know my bunkie, when he goes to a Mexican restaurant, his favorite thing ever, and the thing that he always orders is a, I say it wrong every time. Chile relleno. Okay. It, it's like how he judges a Mexican restaurant. Like, is it good or not? The chips and salsa and the chile relleno. That is my bunkie's like test. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I was going through Pinterest and I find this chile relleno. Hopefully I'm saying that semi correctly. Um, soup. And I was like, bunkie? This looks so good. So that's what we're going to make today. This is like going to be all for my B. Mm -hmm. What you going to do first, boss man? Well, so earlier I got our chicken prepped we got our chicken cooked in the oven and then step two is taking these beautiful poblano peppers that we have here and we're gonna get them under the broiler nice and charred up place them in a bowl covered with plastic wrap or place them in a ziploc bag so they can steam and that skin just peel away yes. and leave that great green peppery goodness behind for enjoyment. Yeah, so let me tell you two things. So one, you're gonna need like shredded cooked chicken for this. So you can use rotisserie chicken, like whatever you have on hand. We just had some chicken breasts. We popped them in the oven a little while ago and we're just gonna use that and like shred it. And let's see how they turned out. They're smelling good, I know that much. Mm. Oh, they look good. Yeah. And we just did like a little olive oil, salt, and pepper. But 
any shredded chicken is fine. Rotisserie would be easy. And then for the poblano peppers, if you have like a gas range like we do, you can roast these over an open flame and just like keep turning them. I would keep an eye on them. Bunky feels a little nervous to do that and so do I. So we're just gonna broil ours. Okay, so Bunky just went ahead and like washed these really good. And then we just laid them on like a full line baking sheet. We're gonna pop them under the broiler and then like halfway we'll flip them because you want them to be nice and like toasted and broiled on all sides. Charred up. Yeah. That is awesome. We need to use this thing more often. <laughs> just about as much as I love jalapeno. I really just love any pepper. You do. I... You're a pepper lover. I love capsaicin. <laughs> mm. Wow, they're like perfect. Those are even sizzling a little bit. Oh, watch them deflate. It's like... Oh, did you see that one? I didn't see it. Look at it. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Into the baggie we go. Okay, so we'll just seal that up and then let them cool off for a couple of minutes until we can get that skin off of there. They kind of steam themselves in the bag and then the skin should kind of peel away. Okay, so while our peppers finish cooling off, I'm gonna go ahead and start our soup and like get our onion sauteing. So I have a little bit of oil in here. I'm gonna add some butter and then I have about half of like a yellow onion. And we're just gonna like cook these until they're nice and translucent. All right, now. This, I think, may be one of the trickier parts of this whole recipe. Get your skin off. But um, let's just see how it goes. Oh. It just peeled right off. It's oh. almost like an outer little shell. Yeah, this part, um, oh my goodness, I am shocked at how well that just came off of there. Remember that one time I made a chili arena at home? Yeah. I did not have as much success peeling it as I just did with that. That is amazing. Cause this part's a little bit chewy. Yeah. So then once we get all the skin off, we're gonna just cut off like this top part where the stem was and slice it open and get out all those seeds. And then we'll cut each one into bite sized pieces. Wow. This is awesome. All right. Happy guy. Success with, <laughs> with poblano pepper number one. Is this not burning your fingers? Uh uh. It's cooled off enough? Oh yeah. It's just so cold in our house that uh, it's still steaming. It's, it, looks, <laughs> it looks like these things are uh, really hot, but they're not. They're not hot at all. So now that our onions have sweat down a little bit and got kind of nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in here some cumin, then also about three garlic cloves that I just minced up, and we'll let this cook down until that garlic gets nice and tender. So B just gonna leave the seeds in his because he says he doesn't mind having that spice in there, but if you want to take the seeds out, you can. This pile right here, <laughs> sorry for my not so dis beautiful descriptive words, but that is joy. Yes. That's a pile of joy. And you just want, you know, like little bite-sized pieces, but of course you're gonna take the stems off. This is coming together beautifully. So just add that to your onions and garlic. You know what's in that pot right now? Three of the best things in the world. That's right, that's three Onions, of your favorite things. Garlic and poblano peppers with butter. Now this is super simple from here. All we're gonna do is add in our chicken broth and then I'm gonna add salt and pepper and we're gonna bring this to a boil. Okay, we are boiling away over here. So I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit and then we got it in our chicken. You, you can put the cheese in now if mm. you want. I'm gonna put the cheese in first. So the recipe calls for um, pepper jack, cheddar, and cream cheese, but Bunky mm. says that he wants all pepper jack because he wants to be spicy. That's right. This cheese is so good. But save a little bit for on top. So only put half of that in there right now. Okay. I feel like I'm just making a big pot of queso right now. It, you know what? <laughs> it kind <laughs> of is. Yeah. 
That is hilarious. Because you know, your favorite kind of queso has like peppers in it. Oh, girl. Is that enough to save? Oh yeah, I think that's perfect. And then cream cheese. And I did cut it up into like little cubes just so that it would make it easier for it to melt. You know me. I am strategically placing these cream cheeses. For what reason? No reason. Because when we stir this... Even distribution. <laughs> I'm impressed with that little food processor, by the way. I know. I gotta use that more. Oh, yeah. Look at all that. Oh, man. This is gonna be fantastic. Okay, we're just gonna let this like all melt and come together and then we'll be ready to eat this soup. It's so easy. Like very few ingredients actually. Mm -hmm. Once you get the peppers done, like that's the hardest part. You're like good to go. And I feel like um, I was afraid of the, the pepper process. It was so easy. But I think if you actually char them and cook them maybe a little bit longer than you think you need to, it makes that peeling process better. Yeah. Smells just as it should. Oh, good. That is spicy. <laughs> See, maybe you should have taken those seeds out, Bunk. Your eyes are watering. Well, that's partly because it's so hot. I don't know. Let me try another bite and see if it's just that hot. You can't even talk. Okay, let me tell y'all. I just took a little sip of the broth and it's spicy. <laughs> Word to the wise, take the seeds out of the pepper. I, you know, see the thing with uh, poblano peppers is you never know, like all the time when I get a chili relleno, uh -huh. sometimes it's like not hot at all. It's almost sweet. And then sometimes they're really spicy. So they're kind of like, I guess any pepper, they're just hit or miss on the spice level. Yeah. A safe thing to do would be to take the seeds out. Yeah. Although I will say like even from the broth that I just like tasted, it mm. still tastes so good. Like if you like spicy, you're gonna love it. So I would say with this, <clears throat> I feel like white chicken chili and this chili poblano soup are like cousins. But if I had to pick a favorite cousin, I would I would pick this one as my cousin. No way. Oh yeah, this is delicious. Like I just I love poblano peppers so much. If you have anybody who loves poblano peppers, they need to try this. Oh, like, okay. this is really, really tasty. And there was a good bit of cheese that we put in there, but once again, it's not like really thick or overly cheesy. It's just, this is just perfect. Okay, Bunky wants me to tell y'all that he does not feel like that soup is actually that spicy. He feels like he got all the seeds in his first bite because let me just tell you, he has sat here and ate two, if not almost three bowls of that soup. And he said it is so good. And he's like, it has heat, but it's not like overly powerful, like spicy, you know? And I think if you do like half cheddar cheese and half pepper jack, that would also help. But anyway, he loved it. And if you also go to a Mexican restaurant and you always order chili radio and that's like your favorite thing ever, you're probably going to love this soup as well. So I'll have both of these recipes linked down below. Also, do not forget to check out Seed down there. Use my code JESSICA25 and get 25% off your first month supply. We love it. You guys are going to love it. I know so many of you guys already take it. So I love you. Thank you for hanging out with us. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this one a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.